yes who would like to testify and give glory to god and just remember every testimony blesses us and blesses the people who are listening to it so let's glorify god with our testimonies amen Yes, like to... Yep. I'd like to, uh, yes, Sonia, I'd like to say hello to everyone. And uh, I'd like to uh, give glory and praise to our Lord for uh, just a, a lovely week. And so, um, to have his uh, word of God in our lives and just keep us uh, safe and, and a good will and at peace at all. At all times, I like to thank uh, the Word of God that uh, in at times when I uh, don't join join the prayer group at at seven o'clock uh, now because I start work at six thirty. But I thank God for the technology uh, today that we can uh, come and listen to the recordings uh, after work, or you know, every time we choose, you know, at, at any session. Uh, uh, throughout the day or at, at any time, I like to thank the God yes, for His uh, for the knowledge and that He has given us to uh, to pray and and even even at times when we're not uh, thinking uh, in line with His Word, um, there's there's always this uh, word that comes out through the Holy Spirit just to remind our mind us and repeat to ourselves or confess boldly to ourselves um, throughout the day. So I thank him for you know, his, the Holy Spirit for, you know, he says, come to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I shall give you rest and take my yoke upon you and learn from you, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and I shall give you rest in your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. I just like to think that kind of the peace and that, and that anointing brings over, brings over us and all the, the manifestations of his uh, power at any time to bring us out of a, a kind of stronghold or depression, worry or, or uh, uncertainty. We can just change our, our minds instantly, renew our minds through, the, through his word. I like, to thank the God. I like to thank our Lord for such a blessed uh, group. So we can go back and just just listen in, in our time for his teachings and to catch up spiritually when we're when we're feeling um, you know, just even even um, at peace we can just uh, be able to do in this lifestyle our lifestyle here we're blessed to um, to go and also uh, share our um, share his knowledge with others. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Ani. God bless you. Yes, Les, can you go ahead? Yeah, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm, I'm here. Uh, I apologize that last week I didn't give a testimony. I was going, to, I really think I was going through spiritual warfare and it was hard. It was difficult. It was even difficult to open my mouth last week, but, but praise and thanks be to God that I'm here, you know, all ready to sing his glory, his praise, his thanks, his honor, and to worship him with all my heart. And strangely enough, uh, I, like I just came in today, uh, as is always at 6.15, and uh, Brother Vivek, you were, you were singing Blessed Assurance, and you spoke, you spoke about, uh, and this was not what I was going to testify to, but you spoke about, asking God for wisdom and understanding. And I want to say that going through the spiritual warfare last week, I, I, I said, what can I, what should I be doing different? I have boxed God in two timelines in my life. I'll see you in the morning and I will see you in the night. And during the day, I sort of, you know, sometimes I remember and sometimes I don't. But how can I touch, how can I come to you more often during the day, despite my busy schedule? So on my phone, I set an alarm for every hour 
uh, so it, like so that the alarm will go off. It's on vibration, so nobody will hear it except I would see it. And I stop whatever I'm doing. I stop, and I say it's so, it's so good because I can worship God every hour. I say thank you, God. Thank you that you that I come to you this hour. I submit this hour to you. You take full control of it. Uh, I give everything of this hour, any praises that I'm going to get, I give it all to you in, a, in advance. And Lord, I said, you know, now I don't know what challenges are, lie ahead of me during this hour, but I submit all those challenges to you and give me wisdom, give me understanding and give me knowledge to do my job well in this hour. And that's how my day has been going. And I've been truly blessed just, just touching base with him, him every hour. And it's been so, 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 so good. Um, I think the spiritual food, I think going through the challenges I did last week, uh, it was reassuring because uh, despite all of that, I made it a point to come and be fed with the word of God in the morning, the first the morning encounter. And then, you know, occasionally, sometimes I remember to read the, the prayer starters and sometimes I, I, get so, I get so involved with so many things uh, talking to God and that sometimes I don't have, like I don't have enough time to go through everything. But when I do, it's, uh, it's, it takes me to the, to the one that I need to read the most on that particular day. And that is, that, that is just the spirit leading me, I would say. And today I just felt blessed assurance was so was such a worship song, you know, it was so, so great. And I'm so thankful that I was able to be part of this worship this evening. And uh, as far as possible, I've been trying to um, be part of the rosary and, and the, the, the divine mercy. And uh, it's such a blessing to be able to pray for others and for others to pray for us as well. And I thank this group. I thank everyone in this group that has, uh, you know, brought my faith to a level that prevents me from backsliding because that's exactly what happened to me last week. And um, I, yeah, I give all, I, I, I just give praise that I am part of this group and whoever listens to this uh, at some point in time, I do hope that they would reach out, the spirit would move powerfully in them and they would reach out to be part of this most amazing group. And thank you, Brother Vivek. Thank you, Brother Russell, Brother Savio, Sister Shanin and Sister Janela, everybody who make this group so perfect by God's grace. And thank you, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, uh, who else would like to go ahead and testify and give glory to God? <clears throat> Brother Vivek, I'd just like to give glory and praise to the Lord for the week gone by, for the air we breathe, for the food we eat, and every grace and blessing, and just for the times that it's just been the Lord and myself, and he's taken me into the word, just sitting with the word, just those silent times with him are just so powerful. And I'd just like to give glory and praise to the Lord for everything this week. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Vivi, can I give a testimony? Yes, go ahead. It's your time. It's testimony time. Everyone has to testify. Uh, this is long overdue. Um, last June, end of June, my husband was rushed in the hospital uh, for high temperature and his urine has blood. We brought him to the hospital and there was a series of tests done. His infection, his urine infection that leads to UTI and the infection, the normal count for person is between 7 to 10. His was um, 259, which brought to this um, electrolyte, electrolyte imbalance, bringing his potassium down. And uh, we were there and the uh, medical fees reached more than 3,000 US dollars. And we prayed to God because, you know, we are going through tough times in the business. And lo and behold, one of our God daughter who is working as a nurse approached the finance and he, he just waved. We did not pay a single dirham. We did not pay a single amount. Praise God. 
and my husband has some um, hard time because of that imbalance of his nerve. Um, now he is going a little steps from the hospital bed in the house and he can already go to the bring to the toilet and have his shower. Praise God for this amazing uh, work that he is doing to our family. Praise God. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, sister. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, who would like to go and, and testify and give glory to God? Hello, Brother Vivek. This is Rashmi here. Yes. I would like to thank and praise the Lord for the gift of life and for all the blessings I have received in this last week. It has been an amazing week. I have seen, felt peace all throughout. I have kept hearing and hearing and hearing and I have not got irritated, not got angry on anybody. Like it was very peaceful. I just used my time for the glory of God. Usually I, I want to tell others what they have to do, but I have stopped doing that totally. I just give them each person their own space because I'm so filled with the word that I don't, nothing affects me now. That if anybody is doing anything, it's okay. That is that person's. I, I don't want to change anybody. Uh, I was a bit upset because my mobile gave way and I was all worried how I would attend and what would happen. I asked people for whether they have a spare one and everybody said, no, no, no. Uh, Sister Daphne had also asked me whether I can conduct the rosary on Friday, whether I can lead it. And I felt so sorry that I couldn't because I was not, I was helpless without a mobile. But my God is a provider. And um, all of a sudden, mom said, okay, you can use mine. You know, it's very difficult to get somebody's mobile. Everybody finds that, you know, they want to use their gadget for themselves. So I'm so thankful to God that he blessed me with it. And Drew did all the necessary changes. And he gave it to me and I could use it. I could attend the rosary. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I also like to thank the Lord. Um, all the time, Raj was coughing from Saturday. He had a very bad throat. was not able to, whenever he would speak or eat or sleep, he was. But um, that day, I joined for the rosary uh, on Wednesday and Janela uh, said, could you all say the litany? I just looked at Raj <laughs> and he smiled and said, okay, we'll go with it. And you won't believe, brother, what a miracle. After that day, I don't even remember Raj coughing so bad or having any problem. Like he would cough and it would stop. Like, But praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. These so many miracles which have taken place has really given me so much of peace. I just can't only I'm, I'm yet uh, not, mommy does not have telegram on her thing. So I'm not able to read Brother Savio's reflections, which is, uh, but I know as soon as my mobile comes, I will go back and I will attend each and everything. And I, I will pass it on also to whomever I cannot do all that. But I am thanking the Lord for whatever he has given me in this last week. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And God bless you all for always helping me grow. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you all. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful testimony. That's a testimony from the heart. Really appreciate. And I, I only tell you what I get from the Lord. The Lord says that you will never go hungry and he'll always put food on your table. That's what I got as a message for you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, who else would like to testify? Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord, for keeping me alive today so that I can attend the prayer meeting. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege to be part of the prayer group. Thank you, Lord, for every ministry that we serve. 
Thank you, Lord, for your mercy that you pour into our lives every single morning, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for covering us in your precious blood and so that we can cover every member of the Brisbane Prayer Group and their families. Thank you, Lord, for your word and your revelation. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings, your favor, and your goodness that chases each and every member of the Brisbane Prayer Group and their families. Thank you, Lord, for the spiritual authority that you give us, that we can use it to destroy every evil plan of the enemy. Thank you, Lord, for every new thing that you are doing in our lives. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> the Lord tells me, uh, let none of us, when we are listening to testimonies, keep our mouth quiet and just listen. Continue praying in silent tongues. We have learned how to pray in silent tongues, so lift it up in tongues. Because if you are going to see the heavenly places and be part of it, you need to be praying in tongues. Others will not be able to connect there to that tune. Tune our hearts to that very, you know, to that realm of the spirit. So continuously pray in tongues. Do not allow anything to distract you. Pray in silent tongues. And for those who don't have tongues, pray, say, Alleluia. Praise you, Jesus. Let your mind not start talking to you. Let your spirit not drive you away, but let's continuously be praying in tongues and saying hallelujah and glorifying God. Amen. Yes, who else like, would like to testify? Remember, testimonies are the only way to give us entry to favor which God gives us, which will come on a day when you least expect it. It will just come your way. So let us glorify God with our testimonies because this is the only way to stand up for Christ. Let's not keep our mouth shut. This is your day of blessing. Many of us pray for jobs. Many of us pray for financial blessing. This is your blessing. Claim it. Amen. Uh, brother, I would like to thank the Lord for this wonderful time and this moment that he has given me, especially Amen. each and every day that uh, uh, he has blessed me with assurances. Uh, the times where I have felt, you know, I cannot go around, I cannot go about I have felt hopeless. Uh, there are times where I have felt literally, you know, like giving up. But I really thank the Lord for he has been assuring me every day. And most of the times with the dreams that he has given me so far. I also thank the Lord for the morning uh, prayer of tongues. Uh, no doubt I can't make it quite often. But whenever I can, I try and I come. And I thank the Lord for that because uh, I believe the Lord always blesses me through, you know, different messages. Even after list, even after that morning time is gone, I listen to the recorded session. He gives me messages. So I thank the Lord for this and thank the Lord for the Brisbane prayer group and for all those people working in and behind the scenes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Leon. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, who else would like to continue? Even if it's a one-minute Bro- testimony, just justify. Amen. Yes, this yes, is Jane. Jane, Jane yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank the Lord for the week gone by uh, for all his blessings upon me and my family. And um, I can say I have many testimonies for that, but I'll, I'll make it short. Um, when the uh, worship song was going, I think it has touched many people. One thing which touched me was, this is my story, this is my song, brother. So in this, uh, I have a story. But the story, it reminded me what to brother Russell took place today, that the, the God system is a process. So everybody will, when we have a story, we will have a song singing in our heart. So one, what the one thing that demanded me was, brother, I would like to share one process. What brother was explaining yesterday, everything is a process. As I shared last week, no matter, everything is a process. So the way he takes and brings us in the process is really, you know, one thing one side it's painful, but really interesting to share to share it about. I would like to share it about the process which took from my daughter, brother. When I made my husband prayer with brother Asil before the exam in 21, I made agreement prayer. And after the writing, I made the prayer. I, I can say I forgot about it, but uh, it was in work, it was in process. And when she applied in the, in the, for exam in the same year, she, she didn't pass through. But and uh, after she after she uh, didn't pass through. She didn't go. She said she told she came to conclusion that it was for a purpose. And I asked her to join the group. She did she obeyed me. She did she obeyed me immediately. She joined the group, joined the group, 
started hearing the teachings as she was hearing teachings she heard about the agreement prayer she made agreement prayer she called um, prayer with the he choose brother as a prayer partner uh, talking to him guiding him he was guiding him he made us uh, he was she was obeying what she, she uh, brother as was uh, telling her she made a vision agreed with brother asal uh, so the when i was when his when his brother was speaking about it it was a process brother only and when she came to the truth the lord gave him her the victory so this was a process what she had what uh, my daughter anna went through so when i was when, we, when you were singing the song this reminded me brother so i have a story when i have a story i have a song singing in my mind of what the lord has done thank you jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Sister, for that testimony. Very powerful. Thank you. Yes, brother. Thank you, brother. Brother, I really want to thank the Lord for everything that He's doing in me, for the revelations, brother, for making me understand. And I know one scripture that came to me was, "As iron sharpens iron." So then, as you are, we are, we are, we are, we are a journey with the group, with the, you, with the rest, with the family. Just as you are, we have to be. We have to become. Thank you. Yeah, we are brother. We are into that process, brother. That is, the yeah, iron is sharpening the iron. So as you are, as we are. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. And uh, last Sunday, yeah, brother. Last Sunday, that we were in the reading the gospel, uh, gospel of Matthew 16. When uh, when when the when when was read the gospel, when it was came back up, I name you, you are you are calling you Peter. So it it was as though he was calling me Peter. Then after uh, I was a uh, resting on that. Uh, Uh, you were calling me Peter Cole, and uh, I was uh, questioning it. He said, "Everyone who calls on the Lord in faith and uh, acknowledges Him as Jesus, you are Peter." When we say, when we proclaim in faith, our faith that He is the Lord, we are you are Peter. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And when we are Peter, we have the keys, we have the authority for the kingdom. Yes. Uh, and the uh, one thing we get with the gives joy with us that as i am i uh, we have with the with the group with the to get the journey with brother russell you can say i am able to grasp the scripture as he reflects as he as he when he goes on explaining uh, he gets uh, that uh, or the way he speaks the way he explains i may be able to to uh, understand that when i read also i'm able to get the revelations how how he Joins the dots from one scripture to another. How he joins it. So uh, I'm getting this. Uh, I really enjoy this journey, and we really thank the Lord for nothing to worry. Whether he does anything or and bless what they have with the reward what he has given me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, that is that is that is the wisdom and understanding of God that I always ask that we should pray for, and we should ask tonight as well because that is what we all need uh, the wisdom. to discern good from evil the wisdom for us to understand his word and the wisdom to make that decision to work and apply that word in faith take action on that word so that is how it's going to be uh, so important for us yeah so let's let's pray up uh, when we when we get into our teaching tonight that we get to that level where there will be revelation and that revelation comes only from the lord So yeah, who else would like to give glory to God to that testimony? May I? Yes, go ahead. Sir. Praise and glory to God, and thank you, Jesus. Um, I am up, and I'm listening. Uh, actually, I went to bed around twelve. Fifteen uh, a.m. and I thought, how am I going to get up at three? And um, so I set the alarm. I thought of setting the alarm, so I set the alarm. As I I woke up at three with a sound mind sleep, and I set the alarm for three thirty. So I thank the Lord that I am. Fully equipped and ready to go. 
i also wanted to thank the lord that um uh, actually a month ago i i have been talking about my surgery and yesterday also um, doctor said that i'm not healing there were last visit they did more debridement so i am still being cut and cut and i just thank the lord no matter what they do my strength is, comes from the lord and uh, they can take anything away from me and of course they are taking what is not going to work for me and um, i am thankful for this voice that i have a uh, strong voice that i am getting better even though in the eyes that nothing has changed i believe that um my wounds are healing even doctor said that uh, your immune system is down you are not healing fast i do not take anything into account and i thank the lord even the sufferings um, that i get the extra energy and boost thinking that my eyes are upon the lord i also wanted to thank the lord during my painful uh, journey i'm constantly reaching out to people and sending them uh, text prayers because i couldn't talk and they will find out that i am not well and i thank the lord for that strength i also thank the lord for testimonies that as they are saying the testimonies and um, sometimes i could bring someone into the same situation and then god has given me the strength to pray for them it could be a child it could be a teenager it could be somebody from um, somebody struggling in the same uh, test uh, um somebody struggling as they are giving the testimonies please god i thank the lord for this team as i keep looking at the number i when i keep looking it was 15 and then it went to 21 and then it went to 30 and then it went to 29 i keep thanking the lord this number is increasing and uh, i thank this team uh, for the for the prayer warriors and the sincerity and uh, dedication and uh, anything uh, uh, things can go wrong or things can go against but um, this team is a pillar and they are strong and uh, nothing shall separate them and uh, they will only grow deeper and deep and uh, this team is helping us to get rooted deep uh, into the word and i thank the lord praise you jesus i glorify you jesus and i am happy because jesus is with us amen amen thank you jesus thank you sister praise the lord thank you jesus thank you for a wonderful week gone by for me it's a lot of blessings and a lot of teachings and so much of the word and it's just a wonderful journey to walk in the word and be part of the word as brother russell keeps teaching us and sister jane with her testimony as well that we get wiser when we or allow the word to start working in our lives and what the lord keeps telling me and i think this is a lesson for each and every one of us who are part of this prayer group that we should continuously not keep our minds idle if you are in a bus or you are traveling by any mode maybe you are driving to work or you have some idle time let your mind not be idle because remember the spirit can move and start uh, you know moving somewhere be in control so continuously praise god especially at times when you cannot pray on spiritual warfare allow those words not to come in and say hey i'm now totally totally i'm i think i'm feeling terrible i'm fully depressed and allow do not allow such words to leave your mouth just continuously just say lord i cannot pray but i'm going to praise you i'm going to bless you and you are going to take the situation from me 
just say pray it pray something as simple as praise you jesus thank you jesus glorify your name thank you lord thank you jesus i praise you jesus thank you jesus i praise you jesus hallelujah glorify your holy name let get into the praise get into that just get into that mode because at that time you may be in a warfare where you cannot do anything so do not start losing your mouth and start saying okay look at the scripture because the devil can deceive you quite quickly when you get into praise mode allow even the mind to praise or get into praying in tongues and do not so when you pray in tongues another important thing is do not just allow yourself to pray in tongues you know if you're silent tongues use your mind to say hallelujah so let it be a double prayer continuously um, and use that continuously so wherever you're traveling whenever you're cooking whenever there is something where there is a chance for the evil one to come in you have to continue to get into praise so do not allow ourselves to be quiet i hope we are being blessed by that uh, this is just the word that is coming the word of knowledge which god is giving me uh, thank you and praise you lord so for this word of knowledge and i thank the lord for this wonderful prayer group which i'm part of i'm so blessed to be part of this prayer group uh, it was not by might or by power it's by thy spirit thou lord you chose me you chose me lord i thank and praise you lord that i'm your humble servant let me always be humble and always remember nothing of me everything of you and all for thy glory i don't have the power lord the power is in you and this servant will walk till the last breath of his life only to praise and thank you and save souls for christ and that is my mission and that's our mission for each and every one of us here as a prayer group we are a family every one of us prays together and we stay together and that's why this group is so powerful and we are all praying for each other it's not about i my power i have no power and i'm saying everyone has the same power it's just ministry and all this is only for ministry purpose so let us always remember to thank and praise god and give glory to him and i'll thank you lord jesus with from the bottom of my heart for being part of this prayer group if we can give this prayer group to one person imagine how much joy it will be in that very family where you have gifted this prayer group what can money buy money cannot buy this joy which christ is giving where you chose to give this gift of this prayer group to someone i tell you this wonderful when you give and the bible says it's a greater joy to give than to receive how many of us believe that so it is so important that we bless someone's life uh, with the teachings with whatever we can you know give to someone so let's make it a mandate to give this prayer group to someone um, at least share the link and say holy spirit you you bless them i'm sure that they will join so and also keep praying in tongues continuously let's not be idle now and because there's a powerful session coming up thank you jesus amen yes who would like to testify <clears throat> brother i'd like to go next yeah yeah go ahead yeah i just like to thank god uh, for just just the the amount of patience and being very generous with his time towards me the amount of time he spares to patiently listen to everything that i have to say and then you know, to go through the, that every day and to be with me and sometimes it's just it's just so wonderful when you start thinking of you know even the very fact that like it says in jeremiah 1:5 before you were formed in the womb i knew you through and through so to know that and then to be face to face with that god who says even before you were born my attention my eyes were on you it is such a blessing to to come into that realization and then um with all the blessing that he's poured on my life with uh well the this prayer group it's, itself is such a big gift to be a part of it the privilege there and then that great privilege of having that grace which in all our capacity into the best of our abilities we would never deserve and yet he's very generous with that when the bible says you know the grace of our lord jesus christ that for our sake he became poor that we might become rich in in, in every aspect is not just finances so he emptied himself that we might be filled up and then you think of it and you look at it from that way and you know life is such a blessing then where in every way that scripture comes alive and he says this is what i want to reveal to you about myself he is showing us more and more of his nature his character and then he offers that relationship where the, you think of it the king himself what would he have to do with with someone like me and then yet he says no no i want 
to have that relationship with you, a personal connection with you. So then, you know, that life itself then is, it becomes more than a gift when you have that kind of a relationship and that kind of a life. So I'm just so thankful to God for everything that he's doing in my life. I'm thankful to him for all the challenges that I go through. I'm thankful to him that he's making me rock solid and he's placing me on another rock, which is solid as ever, unshakable, unmovable as my foundation that I might be you know, standing on that firm foundation where the rain, the floods, the wind, nothing can shake me. So I thank the Lord for the journey that he's put me on, the journey that he's taking me through, that he was always with me. So when he says in Matthew 28, verse 20, I will always be with you. It is not I will, I always was. I still am and will always be with you forever. So thank you, Jesus. I, I cannot stop thanking you enough. It's, it is such a privilege, such an honor. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. I do want to thank the Lord for making me his child and for giving me the gift of the Holy Spirit. And today, 1 John 4, 4 came so strongly that the spirit who, which is in me is greater than he that is in the world. And I want to thank the Lord for the peace in every circumstance of my life. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, brother. I'd like to praise and thank the Lord for the week that has gone past by and for everything that he is doing in my life. Uh, with every passing day, he's getting me closer to him and is making me stronger and stronger. And, uh, and as you are going to teach today on the power of word, but I al already want to testify that every word that comes out from my mouth, I always, I know that it will come to pass. And I thank him. And I have seen this already. Uh, like uh, this week, uh, we are having Father's Day in Australia on Sunday. And uh, today in my class, we celebrated Father's Day where fathers were invited. And I had uh, like uh, two parents, uh, two children whose fathers were court orders. And uh, uh, I, I just prayed because they, they talk about their dads. And one, the grandma was okay with it. And even when I spoke to the mom, she said she's fine with it. And today, both the fathers came to celebrate, you know, the Father's Day with their children. It was so nice to see them bonding with their children. And I praise and thank the Lord for that. Uh, and all the destiny helpers who helped me out throughout this week to make this day, you know, so possible. And I'd also like to thank the Lord or I had like a challenging child in my class. And uh, when he was put into my class, I don't know. I just said, uh, I told the other teachers that, you know, uh, they said, no, no, he cannot be here for five days. He can, be, he can be here only for three days and two days in another class. But the other teachers were finding it very difficult. And I, I just told the Lord to give me the strength to, you know, deal with him. And I used to give him a lot of love, which I felt he was uh, missing. And I just said, you know what, maybe, you know what, his mom is going to get a new job and he will go to another kinder. And it so came true, brother. And uh, because I, I work at a Montessori and I feel that this atmosphere sometimes doesn't work for children. They need a play-based area. And so two children where I claimed for, like, you know, I said, it's not that I don't want to work with them, but I feel maybe this is not the right space for them. They need to be in an environment which is more inviting for them, where they will not have these challenging behaviors. And uh, today, the boy from my class, he was not here this whole week because he's moved to another center and the other child is going to move next week. So I praise and thank the Lord for not only guiding me or you know even just claiming something for them but I feel that they're going to be happier wherever they go and uh, praise and thank the Lord for that 
and also thank the lord that uh, my manager she was very upset because we everybody got a pay rise at the beginning of the month uh, but i did not get one but i just didn't worry about it i said you know the lord knows uh, but she uh, she went forward and she put in the paper and i've got a pay rise and i like to thank the lord for that praise you jesus thank you jesus Thank you Jesus praise you Jesus